Hello everybody and welcome to another American Arbitrage thrifting video. We are going to look for some stuff to flip online and hopefully have a good time. Hey everybody, Carrie here. Um, me and my girlfriend, Dawn, aka Lady Arbitrage, we go out, we're full-time thrifters, resellers, and we look for stuff to sell mostly on eBay and whatnot. A lot of whatnot lately. Let's see if we can have some fun and find some stuff today. The plush section has definitely been our go-to section here lately. They do really well in our whatnot auction, and also we find quite a few that we can put on eBay and sell there. Don loves Clifford the Big Red Dog. Um, that one's a Christmas one, so we're going to still give it a try because Clifford is such a popular brand. What we're looking for, and what I would look for in general for eBay, um, but we're looking more for whatnot, is pop culture. Um, we're looking for Disney. We're looking for stuff that people recognize, like this, I believe, is uh, from Blue's Clues. We're looking for interesting stuff, cute stuff, singing stuff, and stuff that people recognize. You're going to hear this in my video time and time again. Look out for Build-A-Bear. It's this tag right here, B-A-B. They're not all worth money, but they're worth looking up. And we get them for $2 or less, so they're almost always a bolo because they do well in our auction. But definitely look them up if you're thinking about putting them on eBay. Some are worth a little bit of money. This is a vintage Fisher-Price minibus. Um, you know, it's not something I love to flip and it was pretty dirty. So I decided to at least look it up and see if I had any luck. Um, you know, maybe it was worth, you know, 15 or 20 bucks. Turns out it's worth like about eight or $10 shipped and I needed to clean it up. So that's a no go for me. Just isn't worth my time. So I'm going to pass. People ask me all the time. What is the DI? Who is the DI? Where is the DI? Why is the DI? Can I go to the DI? And yes, you can. Um, go to the DI if you live in Utah or Idaho or Nevada. The DI is uh, Deseret Industries. It's a Mormon-run thrift store. Really, really affordable. Honestly, well-known for being super affordable. They don't always have great stuff, but it's, you know, a lot of stuff with prices that uh, can't be matched at other thrift stores. The glass collectible case at the DI has been a bit of a barren wasteland for me lately. Have not found much of anything to flip, but today I found a few things in here. These are Thomas the Tank Engine or Thomas the Train. I forget which one it's called. I always say Thomas the Train and then people get mad and say it's Thomas the Tank Engine. So I don't know. But um, I found a few things in here that I can make a little bit of profit on. There's a lot of things in reselling that bears repeating. But remember, when you're looking at stuff like this to buy, please, 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 please check and see if all the um, pieces are there. I opened up this first one. It is, um, I don't know, some sort of train thing. And it was missing, you know, pretty much all of it. So it's definitely a no-go at the price they were asking. Maybe like for a buck for the piece, it might have been a replacement piece. This first one that I look up and that I actually find complete is the engine repair shop. It's all there. Really nicely made, wooden, you know, retired. Retired meaning they no longer make this set. That's why it's desirable. You can't really find it. So this one right here, um, they were asking, I believe, 12 and I should be able to get about $40 to $50 plus shipping on it. Telling him I want that. Let's look at the next one. Next up, we have this Tidmouth covered bridge. Once again, check for the pieces. If it's missing any part of this, it's going to pretty much derail the value. <laughs> See what I did there? I was funny. Um, not really. But yeah, this was $7. This one was like debatable. I should be able to get about $15 to $20. I'm going to get it since I'm getting the other pieces. I might do a giant lot on these or I may um, sell them separately. I'm gonna determine that at a later time because I don't know yet. This right here is a reality of being a reseller if you're not careful. I was kind of rushing the comps. I didn't look thoroughly enough. This is 10 bucks. I'll be lucky to get my money back on this water tower. It's in nice condition, it's in the box. I, I should be able to make a few dollars profit if I wait. I'll probably just end up adding it with another one of these or doing all of these in a lot together so I can ensure a profit. This one right here is a stop and go station. Also $7, so actually this one is $7 and I should be able to get somewhere between about $17 and $20, maybe $25 plus shipping, so that one wasn't bad at all. Thomas the Tank Engine stuff is definitely a bolo. I love the days when I find a big bag of Thomas trains, which I found many times at the DI, and also savers. Um, those can do really well, and typically they're inexpensive when you find them in that format, so always be on the lookout for those guys. It's just one of the many, 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 many pop culture 
um, you know, action figures, toys that have good resale value. I paid 36 for all those. I caught back up with Dawn. She'd been going through the plushes. I got a little bored, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just not as much of a digger um, as she is. She loves to get in there and just look for stuff. And I get, I get bored easily with it. But this one's from Clifford, she tells me. That's definitely a good pop culture one. Going in our whatnot auction, um, you know, we pay probably like a buck. We pay maybe a dollar for that. We're definitely going to profit on that one. There's more that she found. She found this Boston Red Sox cute little rhino guy. Um, this one, we decided actually not to get this Cabbage Batch Kid one. Corduroy, we actually sold a corduroy with the tag for $15 in our last Whatnot auction. We found another one with the tag at a uh, stop yesterday or the day before. Um, and then we just found this one without the tag. So we're finding so many corduroy bears. I didn't even know who that was or what that was before. But now I'm finding him or her everywhere checking out the glasses, see if I can find something to make me look cool. When I was a kid, actually still now, I've always wanted one of these um, sunglass shades like this that pop open like that. That looks so, so cool. And uh, it would fit my demeanor. You know, I'm a pretty cool dude, um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm contractually obligated to look at the hats. I'm looking for snapbacks, but I might even get a fitted hat. There's always exceptions to the rule. Looking for pop culture, sports, weird, wild, interesting stuff. And today is a day where none of that occurred. I didn't find anything of interest, um, you know, but this is part of reselling. And I'll say it again and again. You just have to keep on going. The days that you find the great stuff is is sometimes the day you least expect it. So you just got to get out there and you got to look. You guessed it. We are out in the DI yard area and Don is digging through the giant plush section. This is a section where the stuff that's too big, I guess, to go indoors is outdoors. This is another Build-A-Bear. I believe this is High School Musical. You know, I don't know if this is the best Build-A-Bear in the world, but it's weird when you do auctions. Sometimes all you need is just a couple people who loved, you know, High School Musical or some random thing. And this can go for a lot of money. And at a dollar or two, there's just really not a way we're going to lose. Or if we did lose, it wouldn't be significant. So um, we're definitely going to go for it on that. I don't know what it is about Utah and Build-A-Bears, but they are absolutely everywhere. Like the Jonas Brothers, you know, they're just everywhere. This one, unfortunately, you know, I thought, hey, I found one. Awesome. Um, but it unfortunately has a little bit of damage on its nose. And, you know, since we're getting so many of them, we just might as well just avoid this issue. It would probably still sell but we're going to pass on it. I got some big news. I sold those Crocs that were in one of my previous videos. I don't know if it was the last one or the one before. They sold pretty fast. So guess what? I'm a shoe seller now and I'm going to go all in. I don't know. For some reason, I just started to get in the mood to, to look at shoes again. I was sick of shoes for a while. I, you know, I know Nike's good, uh, but those are terrible. Even I know to stay away from those roached um, Nikes. But let's see if we can't find something good in there. You know, I'm just looking at stuff, things that strike... Um, Accord with me. I know a little bit about clothing and shoe resell because I've been reselling in general for like over a decade, but I'm still, you know, learning the intricacies. Every Nike at this point, I'm pretty much checking out to see if I can't find a gym in there. Um, so if I pick up a lot of Nikes and look real quick, that is why I'm trying to teach myself um, um, which ones are good and which ones aren't. I did find an interesting pair of shoes that caught my attention here. Some new balances. These are 985s. They all have like a different number. I think it's 985, but these are leather. Um, they have a little bit of wear, but not terrible wear. Um, and as usual at the DI, I think they're 5 or $6. Sorry, I'm going to adjust the GoPro here in a second so you can see them a little bit better. But they're, you know, in pretty decent condition. I looked them up and I could only find one pair and it was available. It hadn't sold and it was like 40 something dollars. So I think at five, six, seven dollars buy cost, I could at least get twenty to forty dollars plus shipping. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take a chance, and you know, this is part of reselling, taking educated risks and seeing what happens. You'll learn, if nothing else, what not to buy. I usually only go to the clothing section to look for jerseys, but the other day, not today, not on this day, I found a grail at the Goodwill that was just sitting there. Let me show you real quick. I can't believe I found this Grail t-shirt just sitting here at the thrift store. This is a 1993 Nike single stitch Looney Tune Michael Jordan t-shirt before Space Jam. The details are amazing, the condition is great, and it's only $1.99. I'm going to put this on eBay and I should be able to get $200 plus shipping. 
So that is a TikTok. I'm a TikToker by trade that I did just a couple days ago. I think three days ago. It's already at like over 500,000 views. And the reel, that same reel, is almost at 200,000 on Instagram. So it's a pretty good video. And it's basically because this shirt's amazing. Here it is in person. This is a 1993 um, Nike um, Looney Tune Michael Jordan shirt. Now, I thought this was a Space Jam shirt, um, but this is before Space Jam. So this is a single stitch, original Nike tag. I'm still learning about shirts, but I swear this was on the rack like you saw it in the video, just sitting there, super obvious. I couldn't pass it up. And this one should make me all said and done, you know, right around, you know, $150 to $200 plus shipping. I'm going to ask probably $200 or more on eBay, but I might sell it on Instagram at a little less uh, value if somebody wants it before then. Of course, I found that right before I started wearing my new GoPro. Have you noticed? I have a GoPro on, so now I shouldn't miss um, that for my YouTube videos, but, you know, I'll show you the TikTok so you can at least see that I found it, and I thought it would be a cool thing to share um, overall, so I was super stoked. I don't find a lot of shirts like that. Um, I, in the summer, I found a bunch of, like, vintage Charlotte Hornets and Denver Nuggets shirts from the 90s, and they sold really well as well. Here we go, a Nike Cardinals shirt. Um, a jersey. I love finding jerseys. This is why I come to this section. Uh, Patrick Peterson, $10. I was definitely going to buy this. I was all ready to buy it, but then I did more investigation. Something about it, maybe the way Cardinals was written, uh, the way the tag looked, something was kind of off about it. I did a little research, and it looked different than the one that was official, so I decided to put this back. Um, I just, I don't want to sell fake stuff, and I wasn't 100% sure. You know, I put it in the cart, and then I looked up afterwards, and I decided to put it back. Unfortunately, that would have been a neat, decent find, or at least a find that I love. I love finding jerseys, but I had to pass. Hey, dudes and dudettes, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. That would mean the world. Not only is it fun to go thrift shopping and finding stuff to flip, it's a constant source of entertainment. I don't know why this was made, who made it, what exactly... You know, the purpose behind it is it's a so weird, creepy soccer guy head. Um, definitely going back on the shelves and then probably to the landfill um, where all the rest of them will be there waiting. This next find is weird. Don was going to put this back. Um, this is a Dolph Ziggler um, WWE hand, and it makes noises and stuff. Um, I couldn't find anything on it on eBay, but this kind of weird stuff I'm sure there's a market for. Probably going to put it in my whatnot auction. If not, I might ask $20 or $30 on eBay. It's, it's odd, it's weird, and it's a definite buy for me. Once again, Don digging and finding something cool. This is a 2006 Spider-Man Nerf football. It's not in perfect condition, but it's weird. I mean, like a Spider-Man Nerf ball. I knew this was a must-buy as soon as I saw it. Got it for a buck, and I should be able to get about $10 to $12 plus shipping on it. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have a second, if you could, please like and subscribe. You know, you have nothing to lose except your precious time. So please give it a like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Hope to see you next time and have a good one.